What is going on guys? My name is Dust Golem and I'm about to go ham on Meltdown. I end up going, I don't know what I end up going for the first round, but I know for overall I end up going like 51 and 4. Definitely I'm not putting up the second round because I didn't like the way it played out. But for the first round I'm going to be using the M27 with a holographic quick draw and a silencer. I'm using the Center Trilux 2 holographic side, I do believe. And my kill streaks are going to be looking like UAV, DSAT, and Warthog. Actually, no, I'm not using quick draw. I'm using the fast mags, which is a very interesting combination for me because I very rarely stray away from uh, quick draw on assault rifles. But this is basically going to be a video getting back to my roots. This is something that I noticed today on my channel that I don't do at all really anymore, and that is tips and tricks videos. Um, there, I am starting a new series. Uh, spoiler alert, but next Tuesday is going to be the first episode that comes out. But it is a how to win free for all, not how to um, get a good KD in it, but just how to win it basically all the time. And I realized that I haven't been doing any of the, the gun tips and tricks videos that I used to do in Modern Warfare 3. And they got a very good reception, but I haven't done one in a long time. And I, did, I don't think I've even done one for Black Ops 2. I haven't really posted that many gameplays either, but uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the tips and tricks are going to be for N27 and not for the map meltdown. But for the M27 starting off, it really doesn't matter what you're using, although I would recommend if you like me and you like to rush to really use quick draw. That is going to be the main thing that you want to be using to your advantage. You zooming in the fastest is going to win you the most gunfights, and when you uh, pair that with a perk like dexterity, you're more than likely going to win the gun uh, gunfight 50 to 100% of the time. It's more of a gun skill, more than connection based when you use something like that, but as soon as you delete one of those two pieces either quick draw or dexterity you're more than likely gonna have to go down to connection and you really don't want to do that because you could end up losing the gunfight because of something stupid now for red dots and all that I would definitely go ahead and say that any of them work you don't really need one uh, one of my favorite class setups with this gun is actually and get this fast mags stock and quick draw now that is a very unusual combination for any gun. I actually did it on a on this match, not this match in particular, but on this game, on this map. A couple of games earlier I had done that and the way that I do my gameplays is that every single time I get a gameplay with that gun, if I still want to use that gun, like for instance, I'm actually training my gun on this one, so I go ahead and switch up the perks and the class setup. MTAR is also a great weapon. I'll cover that probably in the next video or so. But getting back to the M27, the for sights in general, anything is good. You really don't need sights. They're really good open sights. Um, on assault rifles, for the most part, you really only be using quick draw. I would also recommend using stock because moving around as quick as SMG, if not quicker, is going to put you at a, a very, very good advantage. And that's also another thing right there that is really useful. But it can get you killed sometimes, and that's two things that I'm talking about. One is going to be the target finder, and the other one is going to be the suppressor. A suppressor in Call of Duty in general, especially if you're playing with a group or not many people, you really want to be as silent as possible, stay off the radar as much as possible. That's how you're going to cycle through your kill streaks the fastest. And also, if you pair that with hardline, that's probably going to be your best bet, and lightweight wouldn't be that bad of an option considering you are using a, an assault rifle. And with that, you can probably go ahead and get away without using scavenger because you're going to be getting into more long-range engagements instead of up-close kind of spray and pay battles. So I just went back and listened to what I just said, and to me, it sounded like a lot of rambling. But just to make sure that you guys get the point, I'm going to go ahead and recap over what I was saying just to make sure that you guys are going to be able to use the N27 to its fullest. You really want to go ahead and use equipment and class setups that go with your playstyle. Now, my recommendation is going to be stock and quick draw almost always when it comes to assault rifles because you really want to be moving around as fast as an SMG because that is what most people in this game use and that's really going to put you over the edge of everything. Also, make sure that just because I say that something is good that you try it out for yourself because you may not be as comfortable with something as I am. I can play with just about any kind of attachment on any gun and do well with it or at least um, go positive with it. That's just the way I am. I can adapt to 